Thank you, Ms. Porter. In Washington, the same game is played year after year. The president requests a massive defense budget, lawmakers don't want to be seen as soft on national security, and defense lobbyists exploit that. Congress then falls into line and passes an expensive defense package. And then we do the same thing again the next year. That's the game that lawmakers and lobbyists play with our tax dollars. Today, we are going to play a new game. Welcome to Jepper DOD, where our witnesses will uncover waste, missing guardrails, and the enablers who make our defense budget balloon. Witnesses, you'll pick a category and a point amount. I'll read you a, prop, a prompt, and just like in regular Jeopardy, you'll give the answer in the form of the question. For example, if I read the Congresswoman hosting Jepper DOD, you will say, who is Katie Porter? Let's get started, Mr. Tanaglia. Enablers for 100. A president who called how much we spend on defense crazy, but let defense spending grow by over 100 billion in one term. I don't know the answer to that question. Really? You don't know who called the defense budget crazy? Who is Donald Trump? Mr. Mansfield. Enablers for 200. Enablers for 200. A member of Senate leadership who recently said funding the Pentagon at $886 billion would mean defense is radically underfunded. Uh, I don't know the answer. Who is Mitch McConnell? Mr. Khan, the, really, the, you can easily be the winner here. I'll take waste for uh, 300. Great choice. Waste for 300. Ineffective DOD assets that cost about $600 million to build and are now being decommissioned before the end of their useful life. I'm drawing a blank there. Sorry. What are littoral combat ships? You're familiar with this program. Mr. Tanaglia. Uh, enablers for 300. Pardon me? Enablers for 300. Enablers for 300. Individuals who get rich while pushing to overspend our tax dollars. I don't know. Who are defense lobbyists? Mr. Mansfield. Uh, waste for 200. Waste for 200. I'm really counting on you here, Mr. Mansfield. A program that is $183 billion over budget and 10 years behind schedule. Joint Strike Fighter Program? What is the what? Is it the Joint Strike Fighter Program? What? That's correct. What is the F-35 program? Correct. Mr. Khan. Missing guardrails for 200. Missing guardrails for 200. The institution that has authorized more defense spending than the president requested for the current fiscal year. Who has authorized more defense spending than the president requested for this current 2023 fiscal year? Um, I would say it's the um, Armed Services Committee. We'll give you that. Who is Congress? Mr. Tanaglia, I'd really love to see you get one right here. I'm rooting for you. Missing guardrails for 100. Missing guardrails for 100. This one I think you're going to know. A review that every agency has passed except the DOD. What is an audit? What is an audit? Correct. Mr. Mansfield. I will go with missing guardrails for 300. Missing guardrails for 300. This is a really good one. The percentage of DOD's assets that it cannot account for. 61%. 61%. What, so what it, is 61%? Huh? What is 61%? What is 61%? So I read the question wrong. The percentage of DOD assets that it can account for is 39%. You're right. You're right. Cannot account for 61%. Can account for for 39%. All right, Mr. Khan. Is that double jeopardy? I'll yes. <laughs> this is it. Waste for 100. 
DOD assets that have been lost, damaged, or destroyed to the tune of millions of dollars based on a May GAO report. What are spare aircraft parts? We're out of time for Jepper DOD, and the winner here today should be the American people. Because no matter who uncovers the most waste, the important thing is that we provide long overdue oversight to the taxpayers. Look, politicians and lobbyists play the same spending game year after year, and that is not getting us to a responsible defense budget. Nobody's uh, going to win Fallon. until we start playing a new game. I yield back.